Hello, Pickaholics. Okay, we have a challenge lock here. This is from Land Spy Key. This is Devil's Goblet. It's a great little presentation box. He made it just last month. You can kind of see the red and blue, so I'm assuming this is an American padlock box, and then he makes this great thing. I have now picked this lock twice, but this thing is so ridiculously hard that we're gonna try it again on camera, but I, we may end up just canceling and going to the gutting on it just because of the nature of it. I have not seen the key. I have not seen the insides, um, but I think this lock contains some of the new piston pins that he's been doing. Uh, but we're gonna find out. So I wanted to pick it again, but first I wanted to actually show you. He has engraved the back end. The tail piece, he's put a devil's tail onto it too. So this is really kind of a neat presentation. Uh, I think this is one of the locks I sent to him. This is a GLS cylinder. Not great tolerances, but good enough for government work. And this thing kicks out a really fun, deep false set on itself. Come on. I think there's a trigger here in pin three, which I think is just a standard from the feel of it. You know what? That's my best effort. I can do it, but we need to see what's in here. 20 minutes is way too long. <laughs> so let's take a peek at this key. It's taped with duct tape. Four, six, four, two, eight, one. Close, but no cigars. Key works, looks nicely too. Let's have some fun with this. And let's get us down into 
gutting location. I think I will have my editor, who's my son, Daniel, uh, re fast forward through some of that stuff. Let's see about getting some light on here. So that was higher than I expected. It's six, not a four on two. This lock speaks clock or counterclockwise and not clockwise to me. That's why I've been picking it. Every time I've picked it has been counterclockwise. But I am dying to see what's in here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and we can see, wow. Wow, that back one falls in and under counter milling. A little bit of over milling. The tops, I don't know if you guys can see this. The tops of each of these pins are actually concaved. A little bit of over milling here. But every single one of these is concaved and that pin falls inwards. Wow. A torpedo in one and a pin in pin a two piece pin or a pin in pin nope it is really a pin in pin in number two that jeez because i was right number three is a standard another overset torpedo Oh, geez. Another one? Yes. Another pin and pin, bottom pin. That really goes all the way through. And then let's see. Well, that number six, there we go, falls all the way under the counter milling. Okay, threading in one, this over milling, beveling on two, number three is clean, and yeah, some definite counter milling in four, threading in five, and in six, more counter milling and a little bit of an overlay, lay down. Let's see what's in this thing. This this lock is just absolutely nutty. <laughs> is that? It does. Let's put it in the right way. Number one is a piston pin with a spool, a spooled action. A serrated driver in two with a bronze spring. We've got different. Oh, and there's threading in the main Bible too. Standard and a bronze spring. Let's go backwards. What the hell? Oh, it's another piston pin. This one's got a little much looser setup. And a steel spring and threading. And that looks funny. Yeah. A pin and pin, well, actually a two piece pin from the way it was in number five. Come out of there and bronze spring. And what mischievousness do we have? Looks like a serrated spool. Oh my goodness. This lock is ridiculously hard. Uh, that's the back. This is the front. He has F on this one, but normally this is the bag. 
but yeah, so three is clean. We have threading on one, two. Oh, can we see that? Let's see. So we have threading and more counter milling on that edge. Five is threaded and four is, I can't quite tell from where it is if it's threaded, but it is also undercut in there. Let's see if we can. So four and five are both undercut on the Bible itself. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you are a piston pin. You are a pin and pin. You are not a piston. You're just a beautiful reduced diameter spool gin. And number one is also a piston pin. That one's a little bit tighter in its movement. But that is a... Let me bend it. Not bend it, but put it in a position let's get this stuff off because we'll go through this lock a little harder than we normally would so there we go torpedo with a thin-lipped serration on it a piston pin with beautiful serrations on top and a little double with a mushroom spool on the end of it bottom pin is a pin in pin Let's see if we can, can I do that? I can't. And a serrated driver number three is standard all the way through. Overset trap on four with this beautiful serrated spool. Number five is a pin and pin, bottom pin, two piece pin. You can actually see it go through the bottom there. Another two piece pin driver with a little bit of houring, a little smoothness on it. Number six is a little overset trap and another piston pin that just, that one's really free to move about the country. And then every top pin has been concaved. don't know what that does but I can tell you that it's very very hard to make it work so let's put these uh, oh good didn't go far where's the bottom that's the bottom picked it up by the top not the bottom there we go. Which is the bottom? That's the bottom. Oops, I'm getting ahead of myself. Because I skipped right past the standard. Let's see if I can drop that in. I can. There we go. We start in the front. So in the front, we definitely are right underneath that piston pin. We have to lift up through that threading for the first part of the spool and then the little mushroomed part that just catches in that threading. Trying to move the top of it. Okay. So once again, I'm dropping stuff because this is actually another two-piece pin. I thought it was just a serrated one, but it's not. It's a two-piece pin too. So in number two, we've got to come up two clicks and then we're now in the bowels of the another two-piece pin. Standard, obviously we know what we have to contend with there. And in this, number two or four, definitely that thing just locks up in there. I can tell you that it just, 
absolutely binds itself up in there. The pin and pin won't have too much. And this is the two piece pin. And number five, we're instantly having to lift it up. Where are we? I'm looking at the everything but the camera. So we just have to get up past that little top piece. And then the piston pin in the back, definitely having to get up there. And that piston pin, I don't know if that'll show up. Let's see if we can get the focus back there. But that piece inside of there just wants to float backwards and forwards. Absolutely crazy. I've got to pull this apart and just take some regular pictures too. So this, once again, is Devil's Goblet. That was my attempt on camera. Like I said, I have picked this twice. Uh, but this is a monster of a lock. Great job, Len. Okay, Pickaholics, you have a great day. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks.